Right now at six, do you recognize these men? Police say members of this biker club viciously beat a man because he bumped into one of them. Good to have you with us at six tonight. They want to find the group that sent a man to the hospital with serious injuries because of what was apparently just an accident. Yeah, it happened over the weekend in Monroe County at the Wolfston Bar in Carlton. Our Priya man talked with the bar owner and police and Priya. From what we understand, this bar has been on the department's radar, right? Yeah, Pamela and Devin, the police chief says there's been a number of fights in this bar, including a domestic assault that happened inside. He says nobody cooperated, including the owner of the bar. Another reason why the Wolfstand is on the chief's radar, it is literally next door to the police station. It's infuriating. It absolutely is infuriating. We can't have people that are beat right in front of the police department. We can't have people that are beat at all, but it just adds insult to injury when it's in front of my building. A 35 year old man was brutally beaten Friday night about a block away from the Wolf's Den. Police say the victim bumped into a member of the Iron Coffin Motorcycle Club as he was trying to leave. This wasn't an accident. I, it was bumping into the person. It's not like that the person got in there and started to pick a fight with him. Carlton Police Chief Roy Johnson released this photo of the biker group taken the night of the vicious assault. The victim required 28 staples to close a head wound. He hit the first one, it went down the second one charged him. He tackled the second one uh, trying to defend himself and then had uh, the group of them just start hitting them. The chief says outlaw motorcycle clubs come here often, something the owner of the Wolf's Den denies. There's no outlaw bikers come in here. Well, this is a family establishment. Nothing but good here. I would not let a family member of mine go into that bar. I would like to shut it down. Chief should come talk to the owner. You know, we haven't talked to him yet. I mean, he's right there. Yeah, I see him. Want to talk, Chief? This is no ordinary dispute between talk? neighbors, and the chief walked over. As police look to identify these men, the chief says his phones have been ringing all day. Clearly, they believe they're above the law. What do you think? Well, I'm going to do everything I can to show them that they're not. I want to give you a sense of the proximity here. So you've got the wolf's den there. That's where the victim came out. He walked past the police station and just about a block away, he was viciously attacked. Now, the police chief tells me the victim suffers from chronic seizures. In fact, he cannot drive. He either rides his bicycle or walks to the wolf's den. Anyone with information on the members of this motorcycle club in that photo that the chief released, we've got information up on your screen right now. And the chief and this police department wants to hear from you. In Carlton tonight, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, Priya, hopefully people watching at home are able to help police identify those men in that photo.